Hello, my name is Simon, and I want to tell you about what I do at work and why. So here we go. Uh, I'm in a division mainly working on research about water and wastewater treatment. It can be about producing the clean, refreshing drinking water that you want in your glass, or it can be about cleaning the dirty, smelly wastewater. And I work with the letter, mm, wastewater. Yeah, uh, what you flush down the toilet. And, yeah, why do we have to clean that? Isn't it quite natural what we flush down the toilet? Now, as a matter of fact, there are many things that we need to remove from the wastewater before we let it out in the recipient. And we heard it before today. Pharmaceutical residues is one of the things. And before noon, we heard about what the pharmaceutical residues do to fish. And we also heard about how we can clean the water today and how we can use bacteria to clean wastewater. But as we heard, bacteria don't eat all pharmaceuticals. You can say that they don't like all pharmaceuticals. Like, you may not like all the types of candy at Ica. Licorice? Okay, well, I will, wanted to hear some no's, but yeah. <laughs> and another thing with pharmaceutical remains in wastewater are that they are tiny. They are in molecule size. And still we need to clean the wastewater from the big stuff like poop. My way of doing this is by using filtration, followed by filtration, followed by adsorption with carbon, which could be seen as filtration. Uh, it kind of works the same way, at least in this case. So you might think, why use all these three steps? Why not use like one filter with tiny holes so we get rid of everything, like big particles, small particles, pharmaceuticals? But when we have a dirty wastewater like this, that filter would clog right away. Stop. It's like uh, when Timbuktu plays in Malmo's Dortoriat and you want to get from one side of the square to the other. Back to pharmaceuticals. So this fall, I'm in a group uh, building a pharmaceutical cleaning unit, a pilot plant. So to this pilot plant, we get incoming dirty water, and we start by adding some chemicals, and we make mid-sized particles get together and form big particles. These ones we can easily remove by using a filter we call a micro sieve. So think of when you cook pasta, and you want to separate the water from the pasta. You use a sieve. Still, we have the pharmaceuticals left in the water because they're so small, remember? And then the mid-sized particles that didn't want to form the big particles. So we use another filter we call a membrane with small holes, so only water and pharmaceuticals go through. Think of when you have a cloth, you hold it under a tap of water. The water goes through, but most things stay on there. Then we have only water and pharmaceuticals left, and then we get to the adsorption. We use a carbon filter heard about it before today. The carbon uh, attaches to the pharmaceuticals and out we have only water. Sounds good, right? Mm -hmm. There are of course some issues making this a bit more difficult than it sounds uh, and it can be like increasing, en increasing energy in a band, uh, it can be about clogging of membranes, filters, etc. But uh, Filtration method is a good one. The concept is good. And in order to treat our water from pharmaceutical residues, we need to investigate how we can use different treatment methods, how to solve this problem with pharmaceuticals. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen why I am working on it. Thank you. So a pilot plant. Pilot plant. Pilot plant. Pilot mm. plant is fun. Yes. Yes. When will you have it up and running? <sighs> we plan to have it up and running this winter. Okay. That's what I can say. <laughs> yeah. And uh, do you think that, I mean, doing pilot plant is always a, a challenge when you come from a laboratory up, upscaling. Uh, what kind of problems do you foresee in putting all this... Oh, pretty many. <laughs> uh, first, get it, get it up and running. Get, get all the pieces together, and, and that everything actually works. So, the, the treatment or the removal of pharmaceuticals will, it will 
come later, much later, when we actually have this plant up and running and okay, water comes in and it actually goes out without leakage somewhere. <laughs> But yeah. because you're doing this at, at the municipal wastewater treatment plant, right? Outside Banda. Yeah. Yep. And you're getting the, uh, uh, the what they usually put in the in the recipient. That's the water you no, get. We get no, we get incoming wastewater. You're going the to get dirty incoming. incoming wastewater. Yeah. So the real shit, actually. <laughs> okay. Yes. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.